Hi everybody. Hello, we are here again at the Tampa RV show to show you the next Alpine that we really like. And this, this one is, is the 3120 RL. <laughs> I wanted, wanted to make sure I got that number right. Yep, so let's show you around and see what you think about this one. This is really nice. Really nice. Okay, so one of the things I like about the new Alpines, they're putting in the outside kitchen. Yeah, this particular one, the this 3120 one. RL. Yes, this is so nice. Has an outside um, so, kitchen. Yeah, open this up. Oops. Yeah, it just opens up and you have oops, <laughs> two burners here, which is really nice. You really like that, and you have a drawer here, and you have your refrigerator, and of course you have the cabinet above, which Another is Another nice. cabinet as well. But I like the outdoor kitchens, it has a little space here. I really think those are nice instead of having to pull everything out and put anything on the table. But that's what we do. Because yeah. <laughs> we don't have an outside kitchen. But this is really nice if you're looking for an Alpine with the outdoor kitchen. This is really nice. And this this is a nice addition that they have done. Yes, I'm so happy to see it. To they, this Alpine. I'm glad to see them add mm -hmm. this to it. So. Once again, lithium batteries on board, 200 amp hours. And it has the Lippert level up system on it. And Beth, would you do the honors sure. of opening the pass through? And once again, nice large pass through, the brains of the in command system, and it's going to have the separate water heat or a separate water closet on the other side, with the Gerard hot water heater as well. Oh, is there something like that? Oh, that, oh, I see that clips up there now. Okay. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, we don't have yeah. clips. Those are so nice. we have magnets, but these That's have nice these right have there. little clips. Yep, goes right in and you push it up. So yep. that, those work really mm -hmm. nicely. That's a nice little feature. Mm -hmm. And uh, just notice that this has the, uh, the it's set up for the Furion, uh, the Furion backup camera system where you can get like seven, seven different cameras and stuff on it type yep. thing as well. And you have... This is your hydraulic compartment and everything as well. And your inverter, that's where your it would go if you had your uh, generator and stuff in there. Generator. Mm -hmm. Once again, the two 30 pound propane tanks okay. and automatic changeover storage regulator. from the other side. Oh, my favorite feature, as I mentioned before, is this separate water closet. Yeah, I like that too. I like that. We're walking up into the 3120. This particular rig and the other one both had the Solar Flex 200 system. Yep, and this is really nice. Once again, I love the table and chairs. Yep. It's so modern looking. I like that a lot. That table is not, it's supported by the wall, yep. so that's a really nice feature. And it extends out, which is nice. Okay, I, I, this is the second pantry I've seen like this in the Alpines. I love this pantry. <laughs> this would be my favorite, and this one is that big pantry because we don't have that. And you have so much storage space in there and then you can close it off. It is just so nice. I really, really love that. Yeah, we were talking to somebody the other, a few minutes ago. Yeah. And she walked into the Alpine and she got, oh, I love that butler pantry. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, really, really like that. And then of course the refrigerator that we saw in the other one, I think it's pretty much the same as, as the others, but a nice refrigerator, which I love my refrigerator is quite large and of course you have the oven again that oven is just amazing and this in here they had some the racks and stuff that go in your microwave yeah for transport and um and of course the nice big burners this is kind of like ours but ours is switched our, yeah our ours is switched bare, our couch is in the same place but um this it, this seems bigger in here is, does it seem it's bigger? very airy it, very airy yeah very nice and yeah, the cabinets over the TV, the fireplace, and you have more cabinets above the uh, couch. And I like to have the two shelves because I like to put pictures up there and things like that. Little little things I want to have to make it look a little more homey, yep. homier, whatever. More called. homey. And of course, you have the you have the nice little um, shelf it's right there to put your stuff. Oh, on and it too. looks like uh, is that Wi-Fi? Is that for Wi-Fi? I'm not sure if that's oh, Wi-Fi or that if, is. A, if it's a charging port. Might be a charging port for it. Yeah, just put your phone on there and charge it. That would be great. <laughs> they have two of those on here, so well, it could be, be really nice. Yeah. We'll have to find out about that one. So, so that's a ceiling nice fan. fireplace there. Yeah, nice, nice fireplace. 
has day night shades mm -hmm. in the living room area. Yep. And of course you and have the hallway your, up here. You have all the you know, you have all your drawers over here. And you have drawers over here which are nice. And then you have my one of my favorite things in our camper is having the trash and we do trash and recyclables in this one. Yeah. So, and of course there's more space underneath your cabinet, which is really nice. That's right. And your sink with the See how steep this sink is. Yep, looks just like mine. Except shinier because mine's older. <laughs> yeah, nice. That is um, very nice. Yeah, something I do with these things, um, when, when I use my Instapot, if I use it inside, I'll take the small one and put it over on my stove and plug my Instapot in over there and then turn the, uh, the fan on so that when the, you let the steam out of your Instapot, it goes right up. The exhaust the, fan, the right? The exhaust yeah. fan, yes. So I, this has come in handy several times for me. We don't travel with ours in here, so we just put them away. But I do like having them to put my Instapot on if I'm cooking inside. Right. So. We, have a, we have a separate ice maker, and we put it in the sink, right? When we travel. When we travel, yes. yeah. <laughs> no, we just use it. No, no, no. But if we had a butler pantry, we'd probably have the ice oh, maker. Oh, we'd have everything in there. We, yeah, that we'd would be put so it in there, yeah. <laughs> so I would love that. Great lighting again. I like the lights that they're putting in here now, more modern yeah. stuff. So we get rid of the kitchen and stuff. Of course, you still have your... Once again, you have the hooks and the, the shoe coat rack, hook, which I love. That rack. we have a basket we throw our shoes in, but yeah. this is so nice. This is and very out nice. Away. So then, of course, one of our favorite things is the two doors and their alpines. Yep, and there's all the controls yeah. once again. Yep, bathroom's kind of the same as the one previously we saw. Has the now I like this because it's got the medicine cabinet. Are you, are you getting, <laughs> yeah, it has the medicine cabinet in there. And of course the big shower, which Tom can fit in. So that leads you right into the bedroom. In and bedroom. I really like that. So we're going through the Jack, Jack the Jack door, I call it, <laughs> for the Jack and Jill. And let's see, is this gonna be like ours? Yes, it, it is. is. So we it's like that a lot. storage area. Mm -hmm. We actually have a dirty clothes basket, a fold down one that fits in there. And we use, when we have ours, have the shelves here. Nice cabinets. chest of drawers. Mm -hmm. Nice Television TV up here, and you, in your bed with a little um, another king size. To plug your phone in and to put your phone on at night or something, or drink yep. glass, drink water. This is one of the huge closet. This is where you put your washer and dryer in here. Yep. So, yep. but this is a big closet. Lots of storage space in here, and a shelf up there, which makes it really nice. Yeah, that is a nice. It is very nice. Nice closet. So. So. <laughs> Is there? Let's see. So what's I your don't want, oh my favorite thing? Favorite thing. That that pantry. I've seen two of those now in these alpines. Love, love, love that. If I, I would, if I could make room in mine to put one of those in. I love my alpine, but if I could make room to put one of those, what a pantry. <laughs> that'd be so nice to have that big pantry yeah. for the extra room and storage just to put stuff away. So what about? Uh, is there a dislike? <sighs> I don't think so. I really like this RV. I mean, I, I, I like them. I, they're great. I like the space. I like the areas. That's one thing I like about ours is because it's just like this one. Yeah. It's just open. And I like the open, you know, our house had the a big open, open concept, kitchen and living yeah. room. So it kind of makes me think about that. I like the open concept. And I like how they've just done the dining room chairs and table to bring them up to par with today's, you know, what people want, what people want today in right. their own home. So, but no, I don't think so. I think I like pretty much. Yeah. I think if I had one dislike, it would be the washer and dryer. True, I forgot the front about that. Closet. Yeah. I I like like the the dual suite had that separate yes had the separate closet there. That would be fine. You know, yes. separate door. Mm -hmm. I would like that better. Yeah, yeah, I do too. I like when it's separate by itself. You're right. That's that's a good thing. And something we failed to mention, you see this bag. There is a built-in vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. Those are the accessories yeah. for that built-in vacuum. And it should stretch all the way through your house or your thing. I think it goes right here. Yes, that right is here. it. So you can go this way or you can go that way. Yeah, so and which we, way? We had that for a while and then we switched over to... Yeah, we've got a, a stick type a vacuum. stick type vacuum that charges, so... Yeah. Um, but that still works great. So yeah, it did, it worked get. well. Yeah, yeah. You use, so, yeah. Well, we hope you enjoyed these couple of quick reviews of these new alpine floor plans i think they've done a nice job on these rigs they look really good and we kind of told you our favorite things and not so favorite things but 
you know, if you're out here in the area, come to the Tampa RV show and check these two units out along with many others. But make sure you check out these two Alpines because I think you'll really like them. And if you go to visit them, let us know and you know, leave a comment below that you went and saw those rigs and what you thought about it, your likes, dislikes, and you know, and but it's it's really nice upgrades that they've done and I really like both of them and they're pretty pretty nice. They are and if you buy an Alpine, make sure that you put on your calendar to come to the Alpine Rally in Shipsawana, Indiana. In October. In October. Yep. So and we'll have more information about that on, on our on our Alpine uh, Facebook. Facebook it's page. Alpine <laughs> Fifth Wheel Owners page. Yep. So let us know and what you think and uh, let us know if you're here at the RV show. We're going to be here all week. So let us know That's if you right. show up. We'd love to meet you and see you and um, answer any questions you might have. So That's anyway, right. So we'll, we'll see, see you around, around the campfire. campfire. Bye. Bye.